The Australian Federal Police have conducted two high-profile raids on journalists this week, both of whom have exposed government secrets. On Tuesday 4th of June 2019, News Corp journalist Annika Smethurst home was raided in Canberra. They searched through her mobile phone, computer and even her underwear drawer. Of course, Prime Minister Scott Morrison has dismissed any concerns. He said, I support the powers that the agencies have under our laws. It never troubles me that our laws are being upheld. Unfortunately, Mr Morrison, just because something is a law does not mean it is ethical or right. Many laws have been created throughout history that have been used by the powers that be to bring about much suffering. Don't get me started on the Nuremberg Laws. The official reason for the raid on Ms Smethurst's home was due to the alleged publishing of information classified as an official secret in a story she wrote back in April 2018. More than a year later, the police are raiding her home. Hmm, something smells a bit fishy. Her article contained an image of a top-secret memo that proposed to allow the Australian Signals Directorate to covertly monitor Australian private citizens. According to the ASD's website, their official motto is, Reveal their secrets, protect our own. Maybe to be less ambiguous, they should change it to, Reveal citizens' secrets, protect government secrets. That's certainly how things are being played out at the moment. Radio presenter at 2GB, Ben Fordham, has also revealed that he is the subject of similar investigations, stating that the official aim of the Department of Home Affairs is to identify the source of the classified information. And then just yesterday, Wednesday the 5th of June 2019, the AFP raided the National Broadcaster of Australia, the ABC's headquarters in Sydney. This was due to a report they wrote back in 2017 titled, The Afghan Files. I read the report myself and it basically outlines some of the questionable behaviour of Australian Special Forces in Afghanistan between 2009 and 2013. Some of the behaviour included potentially unlawful killings of unarmed men and children, a warrior culture where officers often turned a blind eye to poor behaviour, and some disturbing acts by Australian troops involving dead Taliban fighters. Anyway, two years later, under the new Morrison government, the AFP have acted and raided the ABC's headquarters in Sydney. ABC's managing director, David Anderson, had this to say about the raids. This is a serious development and raises legitimate concerns over freedom of the press and proper public scrutiny of national security and defence matters. The ABC stands by its journalists, will protect its sources, and continue to report without fear or favour on national security and intelligence issues when there is a clear public interest. The New York Times has described the raids as a dangerous act of intimidation towards those committed to telling uncomfortable truths. The British Broadcasting Corporation have commented on the raids as well. They said, The police raid against our partners at ABC is an attack on press freedom which we at the BBC find deeply troubling. At a time when the media is becoming less free across the world, it is highly worrying if a public broadcaster is being targeted for doing its job of reporting in the public interest. Claire Harvey, Deputy Editor of the Sunday Telegraph, had these words to say, All media organisations should be concerned about who's going to be next. There will be more raids. That's inevitable. There are plenty of stories I can think of that the government might be targeting next. Seven federal police officers spent several hours going through every drawer in Smethurst's home, the kitchen drawers and underwear drawer. Her cookbooks, they went through every page. It's interesting they haven't searched Annika's office. This is a really chilling example of what happens when government thinks they aren't going to be held to account. And finally, Gavin Morris, the director of news at the ABC said, Our journalists do a really difficult job. I'm proud of what they do. They do it in the public's interest. I'd say to all the journalists at the ABC and all the journalists across Australia, don't be afraid of the job you do. Stand up and be proud of it and continue to act in the public's interest knowing the stories you tell and the service you provide the community is a vital one for our democracy. And that's the key point. Democracy needs journalism. If journalists don't exist, then democracy fails. We need somebody to hold the government to account. Scott Morrison might think that by helping the government, he's helping Australia. But that couldn't be further from the truth. By coming down hard on the media, he's coming down hard on free speech. Journalism is free speech. Without it, we may as well shut up shop and move to communist China. At least they have cheap public transportation. I'll finish with a quote from American abolitionist Wendell Phillips. 
Eternal vigilance is the price of liberty. Power is ever stealing from the many to the few. The hand entrusted with power becomes, either from human depravity or esprit de corps, the necessary enemy of the people. Only by continued oversight can the Democrat in office be prevented from hardening into a despot. Democracy in Australia is under threat. Don't let the powers that be get away with it.